Welcome back, everybody, to Two Worlds 2. It's me, Kay. It's Nora. You know who we are by now, I would hope. You better, or I'll, I'll be really offended. Baka. <laughs> I made this bento for you and everything. <laughs> All right. Well, that was a fairly crappy chest. Timer. There was actually not anything in there. I know. All about timers. Thank you. Are you sure? That's why I don't set them, because we... I have an intrinsic inner clock sense. It's my mutant power. Uh, I, I thought you see. might not know about timers, because there is no orc telling us about them. <laughs> That's the only way this guy can learn things. That's true. Uh, we need more health, and we need more carrying capacity so we can carry more food. Someday I'm going to run for office purely on an orc-based education platform. So, do you suppose that Nortar was teaching us orchery? <laughs> ah, that, that just sounds like he's making us plant apples. <laughs> and Gortarius was teaching us the orcane arts. <laughs> God damn it. Ugh. Let's just eat. Devour. I wish he could just mass devour, but he can only fit so much in his mouth at one time. I mean, all of his stuff looked pretty archaic to me. <laughs> okay, so we've eaten. We're all fed. Uh, what am I looking for here? I want to look at my skills. Now, Dirty Trick is decent. Retribution is okay. Uh, really, block breaker with the extra damage is pretty hella good. I mean, enemies do block a lot. Yeah, human ones anyway. Yeah, I don't think I don't think non-human enemies can block. No, can I, I don't think they do. Hmm, that's good. Uh, lock picking in this, uh, it's not a chance like it was in Two Worlds One. Actually, what you have is uh, more time to pick the lock before it breaks. Ah. But let's go ahead and level up Metallurgy and Fusion, because those are integral to us. That's good, because, like, if I had to pick locks by scooping Looks the pick smooth. through the lock, like I was going for the last bit of, like, <laughs> Fruit Loops in the bowl... Yeah. That you, would be pretty tough. Having a time limit on that's rough. Yeah, if you run out of time, it breaks your lock pick. Uh, so now we've got an extra second there, and Death Strike can be executed from an extra... Three, I guess, what's a tenth of a meter is a... Ten centimeters? hundred centimeters? I can never remember metric system. Screw it. But it's a tenth of a meter f further away I can do it, and I move faster while sneaking. Those are the important things to take away from what I've taken. I'm going to keep that other skill point handy for when I find uh, some other things I need. Uh, that would be 3.6 inches, I suppose. Hmm, okay. Well, every inch counts. That's... <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> Stop it. Stop. This should be fun. Oh, oh, whoa! Hi. Dude! I was, well, I was gonna stick yeah. it in you, but now I'm not. That's what she said. That's what? <laughs> Why would she say that? This is a very interesting... Because she's got a little surprise for you, okay? That's fine. <laughs> That's all right by me. Don't mind me. I'm just looting, Grom. You just stay over there and do your thing... And let bygroms be bygroms. And you're about to go bygrom. Wow. And now that you are dead, I will take your belongings and your money and leave you here to rot. That's what she said. Wow. <laughs> Jesus. No. Stop. Okay, here's the only traps I will ever use. This is the trap carrier. Uh, much like summon, for example, this lets you make spells that create traps just on the ground. Yeah. They are fun. They are useful. They're actually really good. Let's get some increased endurance at the Earth Altar of Throglin. He sounds <laughs> so awesome. His name's Throglin. What are you going to do? How are we looking on uh Why the long face, front? Skull Man? Okay, so we got to double back because we're going the wrong way to get there. He's putting off enchanted forest energy. Yeah. Oh, I'm a, I'm a Disney princess. You know, two worlds guy. <laughs> the greatest Disney princess. He sings and is surrounded by 
chunks of meat <laughs> instead of woodland creatures. Still chirping disturbingly. Oh, yes. And he drinks them all. Good, good. Yes. That's just how Two Worlds Guy do. Hmm. hmm. It's a mushroom. Mm hmm. I can lick this. Yeah, good. That ought to work. We can uh, we can imagine ourselves with a less terrible run. I would like to point out I walked down that <laughs> casually. You kind of power strolled like you were going through the office making sure everyone got the mail. Yeah. Just no problems or anything. Okay, did you get the memo? Did you? Did, all, all right, are we good? Are we copacetic? I want to make sure you're on brand. I'd like to point this skeleton out to you that has managed to sit up all this time. He's pretty boss. Oh, man. He's just like, huh. <laughs> well, there's your problem. <laughs> He's waiting for his friend to get back with the gas can. Yeah. He, he just didn't quite make it. Nice. Yeah, if you double click there, you can sometimes slip two of them at once. Normally, that's very hard to do. Uh, paint pigment, that lets you dye armor, of course. Let's see what's in this. Uh, 200 bucks and an old log kept by the pirate captain. This should be fun. That's what we need to take to Rockdor. Hello. Oh, hey. You'll notice I barely hurt them. I do notice that. Yeah, there's a reason for that. Because they're resistant to slashing, being <sighs> skeletons. Oh, good old D&D &D rules. Yep, so we're going to have a little bit of a fight on our hands here. I like that I crit and knocked them all down simultaneously and they just did the synchronized flop. Just name me Garland. <laughs> I, Two Worlds guy, will knock you all down. You and, sure will. And then I'll drink you. Press in to use a healing potion. That's right. Watch me do it. Bloop. <laughs> Gloop. Thrill to the incredible combat of Two Worlds 2. What even was that? What did I just do? I just hit nothing and it created a shockwave. I love it. Spin, sword, fart aggressively. Assert your dominance. <laughs> parry, thrust, fart, parry. <laughs> Aha! I like this one that's sitting back here like a yeah. movie ninja because he had no health left. He's just like, mm, mm, mm. Get him, guys. Get him. Ooh, you, you get him. Ooh. He's yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah, guys. He's like, yeah. I'm getting out of here. Yeah. There we go. Okay, it's imperative that I show you something after this. Let me go ahead and loot their stuff. That one had money. Mm. That's always nice. Skillabling. There we go. Oh, he had a lot of money, actually. 100 R's is quite a lot. Okay, so nice. what we're going to do is... I forget that inventory is F3, not like I or any sensible key. Right. Uh, we're going to switch to weapon loadout 2, and we'll re-equip all our stuff in that loadout. And now we have a staff out. Well, I also need that dagger so I can stab. So when I press the key, I switch to weapon set 1, and I toggle between these. There's up to 3. Mm. So now, next time I run into some uh, skeletons, I'll be ready for them. Nice. Yeah, I forgot to do that earlier. But for now, I just want the sword. All right, let's go ahead and teleport out of here. Well, I've never thought about it, but can you uh, can you bonk things with the staff, or is it just magic? Uh, no, you just make little doofy kicks that don't do anything. <laughs> yeah, it's 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 pure magic. You don't wield the staff in combat. All right. So I think I can teleport directly. No, that's my Oculus. I think I can teleport directly from the mini map by clicking on. Uh, yes, I can. Okay. Teleport to Orc Country. <laughs> oh, no, I can't. Okay. You can just set a way work. Yeah, all right. So won't let me teleport there. Uh, there's a way to remotely teleport. I think I need to use the teleports. It's been, like, years for this. Uh, what was that key? The hotkeys in Two Worlds are so weird, and I don't remember if there's any way to adjust them. We'll set you to the ninth key. There we go. Boop. There we go. There we go. Ah, it brings up the map for that purpose. Yeah. All right. 
Okay, we're good. I assume you found the stone? That's correct. Wasn't easy. Grand Pork. But I have it. Excellent. Hmm. You were right about the Groms. I found a group of them near the bridge with this stone. Undoubtedly. They're often attracted to shiny objects similar to fish and uh, human women. Whoa, not Whoa, cool. We there. were fortunate enough to get it back at all. So, now that you have it, are you or anyone else planning to clue me in as to where I'm going? Of course, a party course. foul, Gortarius. But I'm not the best <laughs> suited for this explanation. The Prophet will give you the guidance you require while I finish repairing the teleport. And now he sends me to it. the Prophet. She's here. Who will send me to Gortarius? Whoa! Quite well. Whoa! Well, <laughs> she's some here. Things come easier than others. Of course. Your journey starts here. If we are to prevent the catastrophic events that lie ahead, you'll need to unearth Gandahar's intentions and cast light upon the shadow surrounding his newfound... Any idea where she's <laughs> Every God time damn it! We know little about the Dark Lord before he first appeared 11 years ago. However, recently, rumors have begun to circulate concerning a tower of fangs near Hatmandor. That may have quartered the it's evil happen. mage before you the Battle of Osworth. I suspect that much can be gained from any material. Once I reach <laughs> Lady! What exactly Brevity! Looking for? She's like full Obama thoughtful pausing. Gandahar <laughs> and his forces. They have managed to conceal their identity and location, even from me. Notwithstanding, I am quite certain they cultivate political ties with Hackmandor's criminal underworld. Do what you can in order to contact the resistance. Here it comes. They may be our only insight as to the time. If there's a way in. <laughs> God, uh, lady. Uh, I am certain you will. Ah, uh, uh, <laughs> uh, don't there. get it twisted. <laughs> uh, let, let me be clear here. Uh, you need to... Uh, Investigate Tower of Fangs, Hatman Door. Um, don't get it twisted. Don't, don't get it twisted. Okay, let's just get the hell out of here. Oh wait, no, we gotta go give Rogdor his book. Oh yeah. Take a look, it's in a book. Reading Rogdor. Reading Rogdor. Reading Rogdor. What did you find? Aside from a few skeletons. <clears throat> Not much. <laughs> Rogdor deployed. Come across the ship's <laughs> log. Excellent. Anything else? Didn't need the logs to see that they were pirates. Something worth killing. Shame they're already dead. Can we re-kill them? Way, I hope the ship's logs help. I'm sure we'll find something of value. Thank you for your assistance. He doesn't we like saying thank you. Pirates. No. Alsorna has he like say a kind of safe haven <laughs> for people who don't want to be found. Reasons aside, it's best to avoid any unnecessary attention. And so far, we've been fortunate. But just the same, I'd like to be prepared. Be prepared! Keep you. Mm, deactivating. Return to sleep mode. <laughs> <laughs> he has such robotic animations. Rock door deactivated. <laughs> Powering down. All right, dude. Are we ready or what? Are you gonna send me to talk to the, the prophet again? The stabilizing stone appears to be working, <laughs> but there's only one way to be certain. Send an object through it. So what you're saying is, I could very well end up at the bottom of the ocean. No, no, no. The stream <laughs> seems to be fluctuating between Hatmandor and Bayan. A village between the savannah and Hatmandor. Either way, I'd pack light. <laughs> Good. Is there anything else I should know before I leave? If the stream breaks, your jump could be cut short. In that case, use your map to get reoriented. Or I could just, you know, teleport into a wall. I feeling that this is not going to end well. I wouldn't worry. Your likelihood for survival is quite high. Thanks. I will continue my work with the teleport until it returns to full capacity. Now, I'd recommend getting on your way. 
I'd recommend getting the hell out of my room. Here we go. This always ends well, every time so far. <laughs> We're live. Oh, a guy eating dirt. Ah, migraine. Those teleports. Can you hear me? I'm Kara. How are you doing this? I. We only have a few seconds before the connection breaks. So let me pause thoughtfully a lot. Are you all right? Help me. Yeah, was kind of in the middle of that. <laughs> really helpful conversation that just gave me brain cancer. Thanks. <laughs> Appreciate it. There's a dude just eating dirt or sniffing grass or something. He's like, mmm, there's some quality dirt here. Oh, God, he's coming this way. Here he comes. Please, have you anything to eat? It's been so long since I've had a good meal, I've forgotten how meat tastes. Oh, no. No man should forget how meat tastes. <laughs> God damn it. I don't have much, but take this. Oh, thank you, sir. It smells amazing. That's what she said. What, what happened here? <laughs> it's just a pile Drought. of leather. Don't get excited. I used to live in Oro. It's a piece of steel. Small fisherman's village just south of here. But a storm tore the dock apart and took most of our boats with it. So I came here in hopes of starting over. But what I found was famine and starvation. Then why stay? Gates on the way to Hatmandor are shut. I don't have much of a choice. That's where I'm headed. They took my puberty. Tell me how to get there? <laughs> it's just northwest of here. About a day's journey on horseback. Shave if that. You manage your way in. Perhaps there's still hope for me and the rest of this place. You dime store Rhett Butler, just get out of here. Put the butt in Rhett Whatever Butler. He probably want. smells Whatever like you ass. Need. You'll find it all right here <laughs> and right now. Okay, these guys are the best. They're just the absolute best. I love New the shopkeepers. Just arrived from aspiring young craftsmen. Don't get left with last year's wares. Be ahead of the times and trends with these revolutionary designs. Ooh, ooh, ooh. These revolutionary fucking cups <laughs> and plates. Please take all the time you need. I don't care about painting myself, thank you. So I'm just gonna sell that. Hey, I dude, you trying to score some pots? <laughs> Happy to be of service. Until next time, then. Happy to sell you a pot. Trade in your used vehicle and get 200% credit. I have nothing. Mm, this is a nice sword, though. <laughs> yeah. Right now. Welcome, welcome. Please, take a look around. Let's have a look. <laughs> welcome, welcome. So protection modifier, ice effect, lightning effect. Altar carriers are interesting. They're like a buff thing. Another spell amulet, which would let me make a third spell entirely from scratch using Ooh, the cards I have. Snaps up. Uh, he also has, I have water mastery weapon forging, uh, thrust strike, and ranger precision skill books. You'll notice that everything costs a shitload. I, that, I have 1,383 auras. Most of these things are like almost exactly that much. Yeah. However, if you aren't interested in eating your shields, they sell pretty well. Oh, yeah. That's right. You can sell stuff. That doesn't sell well at all. Does he sell mandolins? Holy shit. Yes, and drums and violins. You can actually play them uh, by buying the music sheets as well. Oh. And people will sometimes give you tiny amounts of auras if you just stand in a town and play them. <laughs> what an interesting facet. I don't remember that. Yeah, I never did it because it was useless. <laughs> okay, so just a flavor thing. Yeah, it's not ever going to be enough to matter. None of that stuff has any weight, so I'm not too worried about it. Uh, See, I was hoping you could, like, inspiring rock again. song or something. Don't forget to tell your friends. Get mm. a bunch of auras. Don't forget to tell your friends. He's back to eating dirt. I just gave you my meat. And you're already bent over looking for more. <laughs> no well, man has ever been house. dissatisfied upon <laughs> receiving my meat. Well, I need to find a back house. What the hell is a back house? Is that the shitter? Mmm, <laughs> this sure is a great water skin that I'm clipping through. Mmm, let me examine this closely. 
canteen token. I like that he had his hands out like, Hey, what you doing with this fucking canteen here? <laughs> Look at this fucking canteen you're trying to sell me. Now she's doing She's like, hey, look at this fucking canteen. I ain't got no texture inside my sleeve. Eh. Why do they all hold it like that? I don't know. Eh. Hey, shopkeeper. You have Jack and shit and Jack left town. What? New Whoa. To the village, I assume? You could say that. Glad to have you. If you're looking to gamble, this here's the hottest dice table east of the lion. All right, crack He's face. A liar. Easy. Cheating son of a bitch took me for everything I had. Whoa, bitch. You keep your mouth <laughs> shut. I run an honest game here. It's not my problem he likes to get drunk and bet carelessly. Is gambling legal out here? Of course. Sure. You can find tables and players all over Aramos. Hell, I can't think of a single place in all of Antelope where players don't gather around the tables just like this one and try their hand at a good old game of dice. Okay, let's try one. What are the rules of the game? Depends on what and where you're playing. Usually, you just have to get more pips than the other player to win, but not all tables are exactly the same. For instance, a less formal dealer might allow kicking the table during a roll to increase the action. <laughs> Best practice is to lay down a bet and hope the dice are hot. A dealer will let you know if you're out of line. Okay. How many times can I play? As many times as you like. All right. Can I change my bet mid-game? Of course you can. But remember, practices like that can be mighty risky. My risk. You can easily walk away with a bag full of auras or empty pockets. Thanks for the invitation, but no thanks. Maybe next time. Okay. But be sure to stop by before you leave. You never know when the table's going to be hot. We'll see. Is that why your face looks burned? <laughs> That's Andy Andy, by the way. That other guy got mad and then uh, slammed his face into it. Let's play a game of d -say. Uh, Let's see here. So I'm going to make a wager of ten auras. That's quite simple, I think. That's not bad. It's what, eleven? Okay, so he's rolling a nice ten. So... Yeah, so far so good. Round two. Oh, I got a lovely 22 total now. He needs at least 12 to... Ooh, uh-oh. Ooh. No, he got me. It's two rounds. Okay. Let's go one more time. He's a weird cup dice shark. Okay, what we got there? He started with 13. That's going to be hard. I've got a respectable 10. I can turn it around here. And he throws... A pretty bad one there. He's got 22. So I need 12 or, I need 12 to tie. I need 13 to win. Oh, 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 oh! No. That's a 10. Damn. Oh, well. It's worth a couple tries. Yeah, this table's hot, all right. Hot fucking garbage. Washed up Joe. I've never seen you around here before. New in town? I've never Just seen your jowl through. clip through your collar before. Good, great. <laughs> Look. I know how hard it can be to find your way around an unfamiliar place. So if it's information you need, you came to the right place. Actually, I'm trying to locate the leaders of the resistance movement in Hattendor. Huh? Were you talking to me? <laughs> no, no. I have no idea where those folks hmm. would be. What kind of information dealer are you? So here's the thing. I really enjoy gambling, okay? But due to a completely unrelated problem. Uh-huh. I lost all my money in a high-stakes game of dice. The sure. good news for you, my friend, <laughs> is that due to my current financial predicament, I've been forced to sell this treasure map for the rock-bottom price of 100 auras. What do you say? I'd say you're crazy if you expect me to believe that anyone down on their luck would even consider selling a treasure. Oh, shit. Just what are you trying to pull here? Nothing, I swear. To be completely honest with you, I tried to claim the damn treasure. In fact, I almost died trying. <laughs> but, but a man like yourself would have no problem at all. Yeah, all right. Here's your money. I'm trusting you on this. I don't want to have to come back here. Of course not. I can personally guarantee your satisfaction. Now, the shifty Joe seal of guarantee. Map, <laughs> you'll be on your way to a small fortune. 
The thieving lion Joe, awesome. seal of satisfaction. Not that it's important, but I needed a place to lay low for a while after a slight miscommunication with the local dealer. He was under the impression that local I doubled my dealer? bet <laughs> mid-turn. Who doubles a 5,000 aura bet on a long shot? I mean, come on. <laughs> oh, boy. Anyway, I ended up stumbling upon this ancient labyrinth, and the rest is history. Hopefully it works out in my favor. Best of luck at the tables. Alrighty. Well, that was... Get out of the way. Fucking map selling Joe. Can't even talk to this guy. He's like, mm, excuse me. Um, excuse me. No, no um, talk to the hand. <laughs> talk to the awkwardly angled shoulder shoulders. <laughs> talk to the angles, because the other angles ain't listening. Let's head over this way. You don't want to tick off the guards, by the way. They'll Sir, attack. Please. I have no food. My husband left to work in the mines, but I haven't heard from him for quite some time now. Anything you could spare? Here, take this meat. You need it more than me. Oh, what he said. thank the gods. <laughs> Shut up. Thanks to you, today my children won't go to bed hungry. Is there anything I can do to repay you? Yeah, you got a quest. <laughs> I don't have much to offer with the exception of information. No one in all of Bayon is as familiar with the area as me. So, if you need anything, please... Feel free to ask. Good to know. I was actually looking to find out who's in charge here. Alima, our leader. If things continue on like this, someone's bound to tear her horses apart. Wow, you changed cadence. I only hope whoever yeah. does share some of the meat with me. Where can I find this, Alima? Not far from here at all. It's the only house with a fence and horses. You can't miss it. I like Dagwa because it's just like, oh, thank you, sir. Oh, I'm so grateful. Oh, poor me. And it's like, who's in charge here? It's like, oh, you want to talk to that bitch, Alima? Huh? All right. <laughs> it just does a drag on a cigarette. <laughs> oh, that fucker. Let me tell you something about Alima, all right? She don't know nothing. Well, nobody lives in this house right now, so potion of endurance, yoink. Uh, lock. Also, yoink. Nice. It's got to rotate all the way around there for some damn reason. Better be worth it. Better be worth it. Uh, a summon carrier. So, hell yes, I believe is the answer. Uh, the, hells to the yayo? The more of the same card you slam into an amulet, the stronger it gets. A slamulet, if you will. Yes. <laughs> and welcome to the jamulet. <laughs> if I were a dim Disney princess, that's what I would have. A slamulet. Whoa. Ugh, it's bright. Your so, dagger went off again. So, Hat Man Dora and Shay Nadar are that way. Man, I've eaten there. It's overpriced. Smart Matt. Don't you have better things to do? Oh. Okay, bye. All right. Smart ass Matt. Smart ass Matt. Douche Matt. <laughs> There's the dice table. Okay. So, we've done about all we seem to be able to do right here. It's probably a good point to stop the episode because we've got a lot to talk about with various characters. We have about five different ways to approach our current situation of not being in Hat Mandor. Uh, and you'll see pretty quickly that this game's awesome for the fact that it lets you go about it in so many different ways to solve pretty much everything. It's very cool. Yeah, there's like five or six ways to progress here, and we're going to explore a few of them in the next episode. But that's all the time we have for this one. Bye-bye for now, everybody. Bye-bye.